are gonna get some music going in here. Co-founders first. I'm so sorry. Uh, we are we are going to. These two women need no introduction, as you know, but I'm going to introduce them a little bit anyway. Dr. Delara Said, the board chair for the Illinois Muslim Civic Coalition and the executive director, Rima Kamran, the two hardest working women in this room right now today. Um, thank you so much for all that you do. I'm going to hand over the mic. Assalamu alaikum. May God's peace be with you. Thank you all for being here. Um, my name is Dalara Saeed. I'm Lima Kamran. I have four boys, so I don't need a mic. So. <laughs> I can reach all of you without a mic. Don't worry. <laughs> we are here uh, because of this slide and all the banners you see around this room. The American Muslim story. It is incredibly diverse. Look around this room. I mean it, look around this room. Do you see every race, every culture, every community, every class, and every background? I also see every faith, and we want to welcome all of us, all of us together in a space where we are doing good work together, getting into good trouble together. We also want this history that is 400 years to be known. All of you are near a timeline. Can you see where your history in America began in this timeline? We started with Frank and our Lakota native communities that were pre-Columbian. And Muslims in America are also pre-Columbian with data that tells us we traded with Vikings and indigenous people before the 1600s. The slave trade brought enslaved Africans, millions who identified as Muslims. Africans like the family of Randall Muhammad, one of our founding board members, who is 100 years in Illinois and traces his roots back to enslaved peoples in America. Stories like Sidi Talat Usman. How many of you know Talat Usman? Our mentor, our teacher, Syrian-American family that goes back 100 years in America, 100 years in Illinois, and actually with the Osman's family, 100 years in Chicagoland. So my family came right here, 1956, when my father-in-law came to study. And the 1960s and 70s were my parents, Alim and Sayyid Alim Adin, came to build a life. Four generations of our family is in America. And we are working for all Americans to make this an America for all Americans. Thank you so much, Delara. I'm honored to do the work with all of you, and especially with my co-partner, uh, Delara Saeed. I actually have a different uh, Muslim American story. I'm a third culture kid. If you don't know what a third culture kid, it's someone who moves around a lot. So they don't really put down their roots. They're kids who've grown up all around the world because of their parents' jobs. They might be military kids, or they might just be kids who grew up in different places and then immigrated throughout their life. So I'm a third culture kid. I immigrated and came to America as an adult. So a very different story from Delara's. I came at the beginning of the 2000s and I made uh, Chicago my home. So it's been, or I came in the 2000s, made Chicago my home. So it's been a wonderful opportunity to learn about how we as a community can build together towards our goal, which is always present. We are building towards equity and civic justice for all communities. And we are honored and so blessed to do this work with all of you. We thank you for coming today. We thank you for being a part of the American Muslim story that continues and it becomes a part of this story of this nation, strengthening through service and community, everything that we do. So how many of you can trace your roots back to before 1900s in America? Raise your hand. Look at this. How many of you can trace them to the early 1900s? 
late 1900s, early 2000s, a year ago. And we continue to arrive on the shores of America to build a life. So inclusion means many things. It means race, ethnicity, we talked about class, we talked about native and indigenous communities. We are committed to inclusion. You'll learn about the work we do and the work that we strive for all communities, but our inclusion statement is not only on our website, it's in our board, it's on our staff, it's on the work that we do. We believe in women in leadership. <laughs> <laughs> One, one of our challenges is finding men for leadership. <laughs> if you would like to join, I see the ladies in the back. I see you. Uh, so if you'd like to join, please, please see one of the ladies. And Mashallah, the, the goal with the coalition is we are partners in this work. One of our teachers, doc, uh, doctor and our sheikh, uh, um, Omar Farouk Abdullah, told us the human body, like men and women, works with both lungs. When we work with one lung, whether it's all men or all women, we are not breathing deeply and working right. So we are both lungs, men and women, working together. We also have a commitment to youth. Can I have all our youth fellows and leaders stand up? The Next Gen Board, please stand up. Can you please give a shout out and we're NIU, Northside Prep. DePaul School of Law, DePaul School, UIC School of Law. We have a lot of lawyers that are young people working with them. But really amazing work, and they're all working with us on policy. We're committed to those who are new to our faith, or new to the communities, to make sure that they feel involved. And we are committed to those who are um, special needs. So we want to make sure, along with Mohsin, we made a commitment that we would become an inclusive organization. So we are proud to announce that Coalition is now a Mohsin certified organization. So we are the first service organization in Illinois to have completed the process to be a certified inclusive community organization. And we urge all of you to do the same. Mohsin has an excellent process that they will walk you through. We will be having an event in January in a partnership with Mohsin to help um, make sure that you have the resources to do so. So let's celebrate a little bit and enjoy some great culture. Gentlemen, let's go.